So let's take a few minutes and talk about time. Everything that the Coast Guard does is going to be based on military time, the 24-hour clock. After 12 o'clock on the regular clock, on our wristwatch clock, we go to 1. Coast Guard time would be 1,300, 1,400, 1,500, and so forth. So you just, just kind of do the math. So what we need to do is talk about how we add and subtract time. So we'll do a quick, couple of quick little problems. First, let's say that we have a time of 13.06, and we need to add an hour and 20 minutes. We simply add. 6 plus 0 is 6. 0 plus 2 is 2. 13 plus 1 is 14. 14.26 would be our time. Easy beans, no problem. If we were going to add 1306 and we had to add 58 minutes, simple math. 8 and 6 is 14, carry 1, 5 and 1 is 6, 1364. But there is no such time as 1364. We have 60 minutes to an hour. So what we need to do is we need to turn this back to minutes. So we know that there's 60 minutes in an hour. We're going to subtract 60 from here. And what we need to do with that hour that's left over is bring it over here and add it. So our time now becomes 14.04. Pretty basic, pretty simple. If we had a subtraction and we were at 13.28 and we had to subtract 1 hour and 14 minutes, we could do that pretty simply. 8 minus 4 is 4. 2 minus 1 is 1. 13 minus 1 is 12. 12, 14. If we have to subtract 14, 28, and we had to subtract an hour and 42 minutes, we have a bit of a problem. 42 minutes, we can't subtract from 28, so we need to borrow an hour. What I like to do is just put a little dotted line here to remind you that this is hours and this is minutes. So if we're going to borrow an hour, there are 60 minutes in an hour. We're going to bring that 60 minutes over to here. And we're going to reduce this, six, this 14 to 13 because we took an hour off of it. We're going to add our minutes. 6 and 2 is 8. Now we can do our math. 8 minus 2 is 6, 8 minus 4 is 4, and 13 minus 1 is 12. 12 hours and 46 minutes. Borrowing an hour, we have to bring 60 minutes over. You cannot do time math on your calculator. You have to do time math on paper. You have to use the old style math. So let's see what happens with a typical Coast Guard question. We would get a Coast Guard question that said, you leave a certain place at 12.42. At 13.54, you find yourself somewhere else. How long were you underway? Simple math. Big number on the top, little number on the bottom. 4 minus 2 is 2. 5 minus 1 is 4 is 1, 13 minus 2, 12 is 1. You are underway for 1 hour and 12 minutes. You leave your destination, you head out on your, on your journey, and you leave at 1447. And you're going to find yourself somewhere else at 1617. How long were you underway? We can't borrow 47 from 17 hours and minutes again. So we need to borrow an hour. Well, if we're borrowing an hour, 60 minutes, we're bringing it over here, 60 minutes, add it to the minutes we have, that's going to turn that into 77 minutes. Now we can do the math. 7 minus 7 is 0, 7 minus 4 is 3, 15 minus 4 is 1. We've been underway for 1 hour and 30 minutes. That's how to deal with 
hours and minutes and borrowing and making sure that we understand you can't do it on the calculator because the calculator doesn't understand our math. And we need to borrow, when we borrow, we're borrowing an hour, 60 minutes, not tens like we did in regular math.